YouTube, we're back talking about What If Episode 3. This is Lil. This is Steve. And what if this was a good show, Sean? <laughs> Sean, I, I have to agree with you here. Like this is this episode was not good. I didn't like it at all. I I, I enjoyed the nods to the uh, Fear, Nick Fury's uh, ba uh, bad week or whatever it was called. Um, because all three of these movies, Thor, The Incredible Hulk, and Iron Man Two, happen in the same week in the MCU. It was the same week timeline. So having this what if series all tie in and everything being in together like this i enjoyed the little callbacks and bits and pieces um but i didn't like this episode at all i thought the episode wasn't good mm. this one this one is where the animation of a few characters i looked at some like i did not like i was like how how they did some of the design Ugh. uh this is a low sidekick the only reason it doesn't get a zero of this episode for me is because, again, I like some of the things. No, funny. because it's some of the things, again, like I said, the tie-in. No, you, tie you cannot ever give a Marvel property a zero. You can't. It'd be I impossible. Can't either. I, I give, like, I, did I give MODOK a zero? It's a Marvel you property. Did. I hate that MODOK. Like, I know that we and I watched did. all nine, yeah, ten episodes. That's different. That's not. This is MCU proper in a way. That is not. Yeah, Modoc is an MC. MC. Well, I understand that MCU property is still Marvel property, and it still was done recently. So Kevin Feige still had a yeah, stamp you, of you, approval you, on you it. You gave that little shitty fucking CGI animated Iron Man and Captain America movie that dropped on Netflix a couple years ago as zero two, but like, you know, that's oh, that was that's bad. the same thing as Modoc. <laughs> no, there's that Technovore movie too that wasn't good either. That one was terrible too. But no, it's just with this one. Again, like I said, I liked some of the nods, you know, what, what was going on here. Like, you know, scenes behind the scenes, a few scenes where, you know, Coulson, like, like the end of Thor, or the end of Iron Man 2, when he picks up the, 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 the stinger where he finds the hammer, and he's like, you know, sir, you know, we have this. And then you actually hear Fury response to that, you know, when they find Thor's hammer. Um, I just didn't, I didn't like how Hulk looked in this. I didn't yeah. like, you know, I mean we're spoiling it i mean we're talking about it well after it happens so if you're watching this you, you, you know i i hank pym like how they made him look just i don't know like it didn't okay okay i'm, I'm gonna cut in right now because because you gave it a low sidekick i'm giving it a basic sidekick i thought the animation was was pretty good throughout again like, really um, this shit is growing on me in a big bad way oh like, wow the only, I just thought having, it was bad. the only problem i'm having is that the way that they walk but like the fight scene with Black Widow in that truck, like, when she was punching the shit out of people in their faces with, like, 18 fucking hits in two seconds, like, that was all great. Um, I thought Hulk looked a little weird. He did get all... Yeah, he looked all weird. Um, but I thought Black Widow... I thought Nick Fury looked great. Nick wow. Fury, you know what? Yeah, and, Nick Fury did look good. And, and to be honest, like, I thought Hank Pym looked awesome. What a really? great twist. Hank Pym. What yeah. a great... I like the... Tw uh, okay, yeah, I get the twist, twist of everything. It was Hank Pym as Yellow Jacket, and... He looked all crazy and frazzled and weird because he lost his mind after his daughter died on a fucking shield mission. It was pretty cool. I'm just going to say I did not mind that. It, it, I didn't like him fighting 18 versions of, uh, of Loki. It turned out to be Loki. Yeah. Um, and I didn't think Loki looked all that great, but I thought his guard looked great. Here, here's my problem. Here's the only reason why this isn't getting more than a sidekick is I thought the story was rushed. And they tried to do too much in, in a, a thirty very yeah. amount of time. Well, yeah, they, it, it, was, it was too big of a story. Like, come on. There's three movies, and it was it was a who's done it kind of thing, you know, because they're trying to figure out who. I really, you're gonna kill Thor with a, with a fucking arrow? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like, <laughs> but they try to explain it with with Ridiculous. the pin particles getting into his bloodstream. I, I kind of understand well, all that. Well, explain that with 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 Thor. No, the pin particles killed Tony Stark. Tony. Oh, what well, and and Bruce Banner because they grew him. Hank Pym jumped out of the needle, which killed Tony Stark. Hank Pym jumped into the Hulk and threw a fucking grunt at his heart, which made him explode. Yeah. And then he literally just went up and, like, flicked, uh, what's his name, Jeremy Renner's finger and made him. I thought there was something on the arrow. I guess you're right. Maybe you're right. No, he just, he just hit his hand and made him lose the arrow. And that's why... Yeah. He yeah, he did. You know, yeah, you're yeah. right. But you know what? At that point, remember, Thor Thor lost his power. Remember, Odin took away he was mortal at that point. 
still like that's right he was i forgot about I that for, yeah so now that i'm putting it together i still don't still didn't care for it but you're right i, I kind of liked uh, what's it, the devastator or what was that the um the guy the bad guy from thor one the the little metal man with the with the face why, why am i drawing a blank now oh, um, i don't know what the fuck that thing is called oh my god you remember? I, I had it. I had a fucking figure. Now I can't of remember. Of course you did. <laughs> the metal guy with the burning face. I know. Face. I know. Anyways, okay. it was nice to see him back. Um, I don't know. I, I thought it was. I thought it was all right. <laughs> I thought it was all right. It wasn't like great, but it wasn't terrible. This was not my favorite. This it, it goes um, for me right now in, in ranking. It goes episode two is number one, and I probably put. Man, between this and Peggy Carter, which one would it be? Oof. They're both kind I, of on the uh, shit level for me. I mean, I think the story, the Peggy Carter story one was so much better than this one. Yeah, but the animation was so much worse. Mm. Much worse. It was like, it was Max Fleischer animation. It was just, it was just it had that filter over it. I hated. These mm. ones are more but it's, than But again, movie. it was for the times. Like, if you look at the animation from okay. the 40s, it, was, it kind of I fit. Like either, so. I know, but it's like you're watching those little cartoons. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I, I just... I think you're right, Steve. I think that, that was my biggest problem here. It was rushed, and, like, too many things happened too fast. And, what, and a big it, story, what a big story to tell, and you tell it in 30 minutes. Like, this could easily have gone an hour, an hour and a half. At least, at make, least. At least make this one an hour. Yeah, or two parter. It's it's too there's too many variables that you're throwing in for thirty minutes, and then it all wraps up with what? Like Captain Marvel Loki takes over the world with the UN credits. Uh, uh, Captain Marvel. Uh. Uh, welcome back, Captain. <laughs> you know what, Sean? Love sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> because of that shitty ass cameo. Right there. Love sidekick out. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it's not the same type of Captain Marvel? Well, it was, and guess what? I'm justifying that as a zero for me. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you know who's directing the new the sequel, right? I mean, Candyman's coming out this weekend, and she's the one who's taking over Captain Marvel. I don't know. I I, I think I think you guys are gonna see a sequel that you're gonna like a lot better. <laughs> You gotta watch uh, that Candyman movie for 31 days. I'm just saying. Well, since I didn't get a chance to review, it's basically the same thing. It's been all every week. Every, I was gonna every say week. that's why we're we're oh, talking about zero. I shocked in turn of events. Sean didn't like this show. Fuck this show. I don't like it, and I just didn't like it. I didn't like this one either. It was just just was not. It's not my bag. I just the stories are okay. I like the stories. They you like just, this story even? They just don't work with the animation. It just doesn't fucking work. It's garbage. I hate it. I just hate it. I really do hate this show. I hate this show. Like this is a this is the first Marvel show that I actually fucking hate. I really hate this show. I'm just like, ugh. Fuck you. You the animation's growing on me. I don't know. Yo, this this could this could have been a live action fucking thirty minute fucking or an hour movie. Sure, yeah, it could but, have, but it's not. Yeah, so. and I already told you. I mean, they gave they're giving us at minimum four live action shows. Like, they're giving you a lot of content. This they can do. This is just yeah. filler. It's just them giving you something. Well, they need to fill that shit with something else because this is garbage. I don't like it. <laughs> they need to fill that shit with something else. Okay. <laughs> it's not that. I mean, uh, I don't think it's garbage, but I mean, yeah, this this episode was the worst. Maybe that maybe I don't know. Maybe it just didn't hit for me because I just didn't like the whole Hank Pym reveal. I like Like, it. I wanted something more. Like, maybe a villain. I mean, I get it. Like, you know, oh, a, a hero taking them down. I get. I just I just thought that they, are, they were all taken down too easy. Like, I the, to, the Iron Man one was way. good because, you know what? Like, Black Widow is the one that injected them. So, of course, like, everyone's going to, you know, and I like that they brought Rumlow in for one line. You know, uh, the actor's name I can't remember, but. You know, like, yeah, that was good. That was a good nod, you know, that you're seeing everybody else. He drops Alexander Pierce there. Like, all these things are adding up great. It just... You know what's weird is is the voice actors they got and then didn't get. So, you like, you have, like, Sam Jackson is back. 
Yeah. You know, you and, have and almost everybody he's, back. He's running it. Um, um, no, no, but like uh, that was not Scarlett Johansson. That that was, no, that wasn't Scarlett. Johansson. I know, I know that wasn't. Uh, that that was, was not um, uh, what's his name that played fucking Clint Barton. That was not him. That was somebody Jeremy else. Renner. That wasn't was Jeremy not, Renner. That was not Jeremy Renner. Um, yeah. it wasn't fucking Chris Hemsworth in his. Well, maybe it was because he he, but he didn't really talk in this one. Pretty sure it was Phil Coulson. It was Coulson. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was also uh, Tom Hiddleston in there. But, like, it's that weird was. when you have... And, and it, but it wasn't Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. So, like, it's weird when you have all these voices that are the same. So you get kind of grounded, and then they throw in another voice, and it's just not that person. Like, Lake Bell did a great job. I love her as Poison Ivy in the Harley Quinn cartoon. She's great. She's a phenomenal voice actress. She did not nail uh, uh, this. And also, I thought it was really weird... To see like parts of the Incredible Hulk with Mark Ruffalo there and not Edward <laughs> like, Norton, Edward Norton, and that was not fucking uh, uh, what's her name either, Liv Tyler. That was not. <laughs> it was just like these randoms no. No, that wasn't. were in there um, pretending. But then there was also General Ross, and it, see, I felt like that was really General Ross. I felt but, like that was really. But really it wasn't bad. his voice. That wasn't William Hurt. Well, then he whoever they did whoever they got to do it did a good job. I mean, Michael Douglas came back for Frank Grillo. It was Jeremy Renner who was Hawkeye. Oh, it was. Okay. It was Mark Ruffalo who was. <laughs> no, I, I think it was Mike Ruffalo. I knew it was Mark. Ruffalo. Jamie, I can see Mark Ruffalo. Jamie Alexander was Sif. Tom Hiddleston was Loki. Jamie Alexander had two, two, four words. I know. Same with, like I said, same with uh, fucking Frank Grillo. He had said one sentence, but he came back for it. The the only people that was, so it was Black Widow, Iron Man, Betty Ross, and General Ross, and. Carol Danvers were the non names. Oh, so Brie Larson couldn't even bother to come back to play her shitty character. How about that? I mean, I wasn't mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I did like this one part. I did like when Black Widow got fucking killed, and they pulled her. They pulled her back like a horror movie. I thought that was cool. I did like that. Well, yeah, because it was, he was, it was like she was fighting like the Invisible Man in a way. Yeah, like okay. that's where I knew. I was like, ooh, it's a fucking, it's either Ant Man. Yeah, well, you saw the, you saw like there was one shot. You saw a little dot. Right when she looked at that, um, when she looked at that, the computer screen, like the computer screen froze real quick, and I saw, I saw Hope, it's Van Dyne's name, and I was, and you saw like a red X, and I was like, no, they wouldn't have shown Hope there. Because at that point she wasn't an Avenger, she wasn't in the movies. So that was that would that's what kind of right. like. And then this me. whole story, like, really is not like what if Mar- Marvel lost its mightiest Avengers. It's it's what if Hope Van Dyne was for some reason a fucking Shield agent that died in the field. Yeah, <laughs> that's what this show should be called. Yeah. this episode in particular because it's like you can't just throw in a red herring like that. Like, oh, by the way, all this should happen, but also Hope Van Dyne. Was a shield agent who died in Turkey uh, a few years ago. Yeah, and, and I guess that's why that's why I was a little kind of thrown off by it. like I not. I like some of the concept. I just didn't like the whole concept. I guess for me, like I love the the Captain Carter concept and story. Thought that was great. I loved the T'Challa Star Wars story. T'Challa that was Star great. Wars is the best one so far. This one, I'm just like. Again, like you said, like it's a red herring. It's like you're 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 changing a lot. At this point, we didn't get hope. Hope wasn't a part of this. You know, I'm no, gonna... you can't make me feel stupid for not knowing something you just straight up didn't tell me at the beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna say a huge catalyst to the story. For me, if I had to list these, I actually like the 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 um, Captain Carter episode the best wow um i did not i didn't i didn't like the t'challa one so i can honestly say that's probably last right now on my list wow that's my favorite way worse than this one yeah i I like i like i I did not i did not like that star lord there's so much i did not like about that one i love that one (laughs) so that's crazy yeah. I mean, I love. Each his own, you know. I love both of them. Both are heroes. The first two are heroes to me, and this one's a little sidekick. So we'll see what we get next week. All right. Well, there you go. What Gotta if zombies next week? Jesus Christ! I'm fucking waiting for that one. Yeah. I don't want to see any more other ones. What other ones are? The, is there is there a title for each there's one? There's a party Thor one there's coming a... where he's a party guy. I don't. Yeah, want to see he it. drives a Hyundai. 
Well, that's just in the commercial. I don't think that he drives a Hyundai. That's just a commercial, I think. I, don't, I mean, there is a Party Thor episode. I think that's what they're calling him. In the, but I think it's that he's not driving a Hyundai in the show. Like, he's not running around we'll in a see. fucking that, that was Hyundai. A, that was some pristine animation in that ad. We'll see. I bet you that shit comes back in the show. I mean, but they had live action in that ad, too. You got Loki and Falcon in that ad. Or Captain America, sorry. But, all right. Well, that's it for then. What if? Thank you for listening. Thank you for your support. Please like that, uh, or smack that like button. Like the thing, subscribe. Let us know what you thought of What If. And that's it. This is Lil. This is Sean. And this is Steve. Until next time, everybody. What if you keep it geeky?